The next reflex I want to talk to you about is the spinal gallant reflex. The spinal gallant The next reflex I want to talk to you about is the spinal gallant reflex. The spinal gallant reflex is there to aid in the birth process. The way this reflex is activated is if either side of the spine is touched or stimulated, it causes that side to flex, bringing the shoulder and the hip together. The problem is, is that when our kids are sitting in school, their t-shirt, their shorts, the back of their chair, any of these things can stimulate the back of their spine, causing the reflex to go into action, causing them to twitch, fidget, or wiggle in their chair. Reflex is often very easily recognizable because these are the kids that have ants in their pants. They're the ones that can't sit still in their chair. Now, now one of the other ways to determine if the spinal gallant reflex is still active in your child is if you have a child over the age of five that is still bedwetting. The reason for this is that if both sides of the spine are activated or stimulated at the same time, it causes the bladder to automatically empty. So at night when kids are sleeping, their sheets, their pajamas, anything can easily stimulate both sides of their spine, causing them to wet their bed. For these kids in school, it's very hard for them to concentrate because they're trying very hard to sit still. You can only imagine what it must be like to try and concentrate if you constantly feel like you're being poked or tickled or need to wiggle. So we need to help them integrate the spinal gallant reflex so that they can concentrate in the classroom. If you believe that spinal gallant reflex is still active for your child, come on over to our website and check out our program on how to test for this reflex and how to do the exercises to integrate it. If you have a child that is bedwetting, integrating this reflex so that they can finally be free of this embarrassing problem does wonders for their self-confidence and their self-esteem.